Today will be a different kind of a video, not my typical content. In collaboration with Danny from Wicked Awesome Gardening, I will talk about 5 veggies that I will always grow in my garden and 5 that I will never grow again. I will start with 5 must-haves and the first one is tomato. I will always have tomatoes in my garden no matter where I live and where I move. I just love tomatoes. I think we eat them every single day. Like no matter what I'm cooking, there are tomatoes either in the food or in the salad that goes together with the food. I also make sauces with tomatoes and I just can't imagine my life and my garden without tomatoes. And there are so many different varieties that you can never get bored with tomatoes. I like to have at least 10 varieties each year growing in my garden. Next vegetable that I need to have in my garden is pepper. I love peppers as much as I do my tomatoes because there are so many different varieties and flavors. And I do not only grow sweet peppers, I also like to grow all kinds of hot peppers and I just enjoy them as part of my meals. Also, I make hot sauces out of them and I just love growing and experimenting. So no matter where I live, I will always have peppers in my garden. Even if I have to live in an apartment, I think I'll have uh, small compact varieties of peppers growing. Another category of vegetables that I just need to have are cucumbers. They are also staple food in my kitchen. I always include them in my salads and I just love pickles and um, brine pickles, fermented cucumbers. So I will always try to grow cucumbers whenever possible. They are a bit tricky to grow, but I'll do my best to always have them. And just as with peppers and tomatoes, cucumbers come in all shapes and colors and you can never get bored with them. So from these pickling varieties to those yard-long Armenian that I was showing in the past clip, there are so many different great varieties. Number four in my must-have garden veggie list is peas. I love peas, I've mentioned it before many times that I enjoy growing it in my garden because it just grows so well in spring in my garden and I love green peas so much. I even associate it with spring. Can't wait to get this year's harvest. And the final fifth vegetable that I must have in my garden is potato. As an Ukrainian, it's like a staple food for me, like rice for Indians. And uh, I can't imagine living without potatoes. So these were five veggies that I can't live without and I will always try to grow them in my garden. But there are five that I will not grow anymore. And the first one would be watermelon. I know it's a fruit, but Still, we're talking about things we will not grow. So my list may include veggies, fruits or herbs. And I do like watermelon to eat, but growing it in my area, I live in Chicago, we don't have a very long growing season and it doesn't get hot enough, I guess, for long enough. Watermelon is a tropical plant, it needs a lot of warmth. So I've tried growing it and I did harvest it a couple of little watermelons, but it's not worth um, growing, just takes so much room, so much space 
that I would be better off growing something more productive in my space. But if I ever move and I have more room, I will give watermelon another try. Next vegetable on my list that I will not grow again is walking stick kale. I was growing it in my garden last year and I kind of enjoyed it. It was looking good and it grew big, but it was really tough, very uh, big, large leaves and not tender enough. I was hoping that it will survive the winter and paralyze itself, but it didn't, so I will not grow it again. Next thing on my list is one of my favorite fruits, figs. I love figs and I tried growing fig tree in my garden three times and I failed. So unfortunately, I guess um, I will have to wait until I either build a greenhouse where I can have fig tree or unless I move somewhere that fig trees can grow. But for now, I'll have to enjoy other fruits. Next thing I will not grow again is an herb, Mexican tarragon. I do love tarragon, but real French tarragon. I tried planting Mexican tarragon and I didn't like the taste. It has pretty flowers, but the taste I don't really like. And also I tried growing Russian tarragon and I didn't like it either. Um, this is what Russian tarragon looks like. It's very similar to French tarragon, but the taste is so mild. This is the French tarragon and this is what I will be growing from now on. I will not experiment anymore and try different varieties. Uh, so I'm sorry, um, with all due respect to people who enjoy Mexican tarragon, it's just not in my taste, so I will not be planting it anymore in my garden. After all, we have to grow what we eat, and especially when we have small gardens where every inch is valuable. And the last thing that I will not grow in my garden is red okra. So I'm not the big fan of okra anyway, and I decided I'm gonna start growing okra with this red burgundy variety of okra that grows really big. Like the okra I've bought from the store was these baby tiny okras, but then when I started growing this burgundy okra, it grew so big and it wasn't quite tasty. I mean, it was okay, but nobody else except me would eat okra in my family. So I figured that I will not grow it again. I may try other types of okra in the future, but this one, I doubt that I will give another try. It looked pretty though. Just look at these spares of okra. They are so shiny and long. Um, so it's a great ornamental. But again, when you have a small garden, you want to try growing things that you enjoy. So no red okra for me. So these were five veggies that I will not grow in my garden again unless my circumstances change and in the future I move and have more space to have experimental garden. How about you? What are your five must-have vegetables and five you will never grow again? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you!